Um, do you think? Because I was thinking, you know how we went to Arizona, we got an Airbnb, and we were pretty comfortable in that motherfucker, right? But like, don't you think it's odd? Like we're in somebody's house, and not only we're in somebody's house, but they could have cameras, cameras and shit in there, shit that we don't even know about. Like when we walked in, there was a ring immediately, and then there was this light in the living room that went off that we all noticed, remember? And we didn't know what the fuck it was. So do you think like, do you think it's safe? As far as like, I think for a man who cares, right? Yeah. I think for a man who cares, but like, do you think it's safe for, for girls? Why is that though? Why is it that, uh, uh, uh it's cause, cause a man is nakedness. is like less, less valuable. Yeah. Less value. Yeah. Like whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like who cares? Who cares? And there's a person that is into seeing like a bunch of dudes naked taking a shower in an Airbnb and he's there just yeah, but looking for, at us. For, for a girl, huh? The value is for, is hella there because for everyone, nobody would want it's the family members to be seen. Cause I'd rather be seen naked than one of, one of the, the women in my family. Yeah. It, it's, it's more, uh, like, uh, it just seems like it's a bigger hit, and I don't. It, and I and I know one hundred percent what my head why, but it's hard to translate it into words. I'm not, I'm illiterate in that way, to be able to to say it in a way where everybody would understand. <laughs> because the 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 female is more attractive than the male, right? You see how like these women be making hella money, hella money. So that shows you that the demand is crazy. The demand, the the guys out here willing to pay. Do you think that's messed it's up? Crazy, huh? You think that's messed up? It is messed up, but I think you think it's messed up for the for you think it's messed up not 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 as far as like a woman choosing whatever her body, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck. But as far as them like Exploding giving men. giving giving an avenue to men who are because it's majority of them are men that are subscribed, giving an avenue for a lot of these men to. It seems like it's a like a hole. You're giving them yeah. a, a, like you're giving them I a think, pre-made hole that they can jump into for financial gain. I think it's they're both at fault, but I I don't blame them for taking advantage of the situation because it's like for for a man, right? You you have to you have to have your own fucking. You have to have discipline and shit. You can't out here be paying for that shit. You can't do that. Um. No matter how lonely you are, huh? No matter how many, like... It's free. If you really want to look it up, it's free. But they don't want, they don't want But free. they want this specific person. Yeah. And they want to see, the, and they're willing to pay 20 bucks. Nah, nah, bro, you're tripping. Now you're tripping. And then there's like, that's, that's the thing. Like, it's the, the, the outrageous things people do. Like, there's people, like, I don't remember the streamer's name. But there was this dude who was donating thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to the girl because she was saying that um, she was accepting boyfriend applications, which I never even heard of that shit. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I know what it means, but like to even hear it, it doesn't sound real. huh? So, so she was basically saying, I'm looking for a boyfriend. So homies was like, okay, I, I want in. So they were donating to be more seen. And when they were, the dude said he donated like 6000 and then the girl got exposed that she was married the whole time. And then he's like, oh, you fucking tricked me. He was saying that to the girl. I didn't spend all my money over you. I couldn't even pay the rent and shit like that. First of all, that's your fault. Yeah. Your dumbass fault. And and that's why I think, that's why I got I got respect for men. Because of how we view each other, we don't we don't tolerate bullshit. A man to another man, huh? Like we'll check each other. Like that's not okay. We'll say that because you could sit here and cry, and yeah, she did take she did take the money and she did like promote. It's like false advertising type shit. But you should have known better. You should have known better. So us as men would be like, too bad, huh? That's your fault. But the fact that you thought that this girl who was heavily popular was gonna be into you. Because of how much money you donated, yeah, just because you're donating money, that even if she people would be, don't give a fuck about you, even if she, even if that did lead to attention from her, it's she's it was still that's not still, worth it. It's not, it's not on, not only not is it not worth it, but the that that automatically labels her as the caliber that a wife 
a mother that already that's you uh, it would be out of the question if if in, in order to get her attention it requires a, a big sum of money that's a red flag yeah i'd be like no well, i'm not I, I'm, I not, I'm not doing that yeah. yeah it's not it's not even worth it but i <clears throat> that shows you that the 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 loneliness of men is hella high right and it's getting if higher. they're doing if they're doing that but even then, though, because you can be alone and not do fuck shit. But that's a different alone. That's like a... Because I don't know. It's because maybe those are the people who are... Who, like, can't find... Like I said back then, don't have no purpose. Who feel like they don't have no purpose. They don't have no hobbies. They don't have anything. So the only thing they're doing is is searching for a girl. but And they're searching for her in the wrong ways. Because it's like... I told you, like, nowadays... It's like women are quick to turn you the fuck down, like in public, like especially if you you had to be a certain type of dude. Like you, when you hear a lot of girl standards, hella high. I see, I see. And for men, I feel like the standards are way lower. Yeah, because we're more. I think men are more realistic. Well, I think women are more like uh, shining. They want like Prince Charming type, yeah, shit? Prince Charming, uh, uh, straight ten, perfect teeth, shit ton of money, uh, fucking, uh, perfect everything, every height, but that's not weight. everybody, for sure. That's yeah, not that's everybody. not everything. But that's a good handful. But you know? yeah, you you if you just the average girl, more than likely you give you give her like, what would you want in a man? This he, he has to be this, he has to be that, and what happens if he doesn't meet one of those? Like he meets two out of the three, you'd be like, nah, that's it. But then you 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 flip it around, and then you tell a man, what what do you want? And he's like, well, I want a woman that's not overweight, that that is respectful, um, is respected not only um like in every which way that you could possibly be respected, right? Good morals, good values, and they're like, well, you gotta let me do me, honey. Mm -hmm. Huh? You only live once, YOLO. One and night a, stands. I like drinking, but yeah. we got a kid. Yeah, be, y'all need Jesus. <clears throat> he seen that thing where the dude was like, um, "There's a video of this dude who was like, I don't know what he said exactly, but he said I'm trying to get a one night stand." It was a dude who said that, and another white dude walks up to him and he's like, "You don't need a one night stand. You need Jesus." So he told him, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, when you see that the the it feels it feels like humanity has become corrupted as far as like what matters and like separate times like you know how like imagine if this shit that was going on today like happened thousands of years ago what do you think the punishment would be death death you think so like if you took some a girl or a dude from twenty twenty three 2020, 2020, huh? 2023. And you brought that motherfucker back to like fucking the 700s. You think that'd kill them? Well, they probably- Because you know how they always be like, the the dudes were like, what we see from movies and shit, they always be like, uh, uh, like, I don't know what the word is. When they see shit like that. Like back in Ragnar, they'd be like pagans. Oh. Shit like that, like uh, like scum, like low below shit. Like there was, and it was it was everybody who had this morals that somebody couldn't act out. But now everybody shows these these uh, negative traits. Everybody, it's almost unormal if you don't. If not, it already is because they're making it common. They're making it's it. It's so accepted. common, yeah. But I, I, I think it's all because people want. I think the, the, I think humanity as a whole is becoming softer. But it's crazy though because everybody has social media. Everybody, huh? Like, think I don't think I've encountered anybody who doesn't. Some former way, right? Like who? Who? I, everybody. You can tell anybody. Hey, what's your Instagram? They'll tell you. Hey, this for this. Well, I mean, everybody. Like probably like what thirty five and younger. But like even older cats. Too. Because I know people who don't have who don't have like Facebook, who don't have 
Instagram, TikTok. Probably in their 50s, their 60s. High 40s, 44, I'm talking 45. about like 30 below. Yeah. If Everybody's on there. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm like, this shit is a new, it's really a new wave. But I, uh, I think you can't fight this shit. Like it is going to be, it is what it is and it's going to go in this direction. But the, the fact that this shit is, this, this behavior is accepted now. And it's almost like, what do they call it? Like champion? Like, what do they call it? Oh, yeah. Like encouraged. I remember when we couldn't, like, you couldn't, like, hip hop wouldn't even play at Walmart. And all of a sudden, hip hop's playing at Walmart. Hip hop has took over everything. Uh, like, hip, uh, we were listening to hip hop before hip hop was the number one genre in America. Oh, yeah. They used to tell that. Like, you remember how, like, it seems like, um, like the hip hop culture is so accepted or is getting so accepted now because that shit wasn't, they wasn't showing that shit. Like now it's in commercials. You see the new Sprite commercial and it got like Lil Yachty or whatever. So it's like, even the, the companies are moving because they know that it's not sense. because that they want to, it's because they know that the money's there and that's what they give a fuck about the money. They don't give a fuck who, who they got to present on screen as long as they get the money. But it just shows you like how times have changed. Everything is, everybody, it's, I think it's impossible to be a kid in America and not be influenced by hip hop culture. Right? Like, look how we all dress. And it don't even stop here though. It goes overseas. Yeah. And, that, and that's everywhere. the crazy part. How That's how strong hip hop is. Damn, and then they mimic huh? it. They mimic it in England. They mimic it in Africa. They in Mexico. Everywhere. Yeah. everywhere. There's people like, it, it, it's, it's crazy. That's how impactful it is. But like, like right now, there's still countries who, who are not like America. Right? Like Mexico still has a lot of its values as far as like the people. Like when I go over there, it's not like America. Maybe if you go to certain cities, uh, maybe I'm pretty sure there is. But like where I went now, it seems like it's still kind of old school. But eventually it will get there, huh? Eventually it will get to this like, um, you think so? Or do you think because Mexico is so strict, you think? But it just seems like actually will fade with, with, with generations. I don't know. It's because it's because like going back to how you said, if you take a guy from 2023 and you put him in, in, in the 700, 800s, um, they wouldn't be able to live that life to begin with. It wouldn't be allowed. Well, not only would you not be allowed, but you, the 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 work that it would cost in order to live, because back then the, you wouldn't have- You weren't champion. Well, uh, not you only you, were, you didn't have access to yeah. what you have access now. Yeah, so in order money. to survive the winter, you guys had to work. And a lot of people nowadays, when it comes to physical labor, I think it, it's, a, it's a big, being able to do physical shit when required is is like is a must like now people are not even willing to do it like no matter what they'll go to a, sh a homeless shelter or they'll find an easy way out take money from the government or whatever instead of like if they had an easy going job where it was like indoors ac work six hours eight hours whatever make decent money if they had to if for whatever reason everything got reset and now it was just physical labor in order to survive a lot of people wouldn't want to do that they wouldn't be capable of doing that. And I think that because if you come up with a hard life where you got to actually work. Because they feel like they don't need to or they can get by when they don't need to. But that's like a big argument within itself. Because people would come there's, up with I just feel like there's big benefits to uh, being brought up. In but I feel like the the the... The people in general in America, and and I don't, and actually I don't see this in the real world. You see it um, mainly online, huh? See what? Oh, uh, I mean, you have you have seen like the 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 fuckery, like all this bullshit, how how dudes and girls act now in today's age. But you have seen the the dress code change. For everybody, even girls, like especially girls, because you see how they're able to be more revealing now, and it's just like socially accepted. And then people are like, "Oh, you're so worried." I'm not worried at all. I'm a man, right? 
As a man, you see that and you're like, cool. But at, at, for the little one that got beside me, you think like, nah, you have to. Because I always try to be a good role model for the little ones that are looking up to me. But I've seen a lot of people abandon their role model role for their selfishness. And they don't give a fuck. There's people who do weird shit at work and do people shit in, in their cousin's car with a baby in the back. Huh? There's like, there's shit that, there's motherfuckers that go all out. So they abandon all that shit and I couldn't because it's like, I can't. I, I stand so firm on my, on my, on my standards and what the fuck is right. They can't. But I, that's what I'm saying. Like the, the, it seems like I would be willing to like go somewhere else and live there based on like how the things are going. If we had, you're talking about if we had it like that? Yeah. If, the, if we had a different set of cards. Because when you have when you have the ability to go wherever you want, yeah. But I think America is great, though. I think America is great, but I do see that there's a lot of fuck shit going on, like everything. Like they're so it's so like everyone for themselves, and that's why there's all this like uh, madness and shit, violence, people robbing them, like smacking them and shit. Like the fucking, like them people in in California who was who was smacking the fucking elote man, you know, and and were making fun of them and, and smacking them. Yeah. That shit is like, that shit is like what hell of disrespect. It, 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 and it's like it's like you, you, I don't know, you couldn't do that in Mexico. You couldn't do that. There are serious consequences to shit like that. You can't do that, but you could do it in America. But it's because of the, the, it's because the fear. I think like who said like um. I think a Muslim said that like um how they cut people's hands off when they steal. And then the people were saying to him like, "That's awful! Like, what did you talk? You guys cut people's hands off, whatever, whatever." And he's like, "Yeah, but you guys kill people." You're talking about the electric chair type shit? Yeah, no, you guys kill people for like self-defense or, or oh. they're thieving or when they're thieving you, when they're stealing from you, you guys are killing people. We're just cutting arms off to teach him a lesson. So I'm like, there's the, he so the fear, huh? It seems like then there's fear because people are obviously not afraid of jail. But people are afraid of violence. Violence has always been something to be feared. Well, when you when you lose your arm or your hand, that's you can't get that back. Jail is just a time. Yeah. You're just going to be in there for a few years or whatever, and then you're going to come out, but you're going to have... I mean, if you Unless you... I mean, she can go down in jail. Can, yeah, you can, but, you can die in jail, but the odds well, in of... in prison. Yeah, in prison, but if you're, you're guaranteeing... It's not guaranteed that you're dying in prison, but it is guaranteed you're going to lose your hand. Yeah. And you ain't get you ain't growing another one back. And that's the I heard they do that in Mexico too. When you steal from Americans. So it's like uh, to me when that type of shit was going down, that shit was like well, it sucks to see that people are treating your people like that. I know, but it just it just to, just to, to, for people to to for them to do someone do something like this to someone who is not hasn't done the, nothing. He, not, to he you. not do. He didn't do anything wrong, and you you know he's not he's not gonna do anything back. Uh-huh. And yet you you keep pushing, at a for a joke or for a laugh or just because to feel strong or whatever. That's hell of that's bitch like shit. bitch shit. Yeah, that's hell of bitch shit. And that's I like, like pushing the baby, right? Because you know the baby can't do shit to you. Yeah, and not to say that that a grown man is a baby, but there's people who just don't want to hit back. For more than just reasons of hitting you back. There's people who don't even have papers. So if they hit you back, they get in some legal trouble. They're going back to Mexico. So they're, they're like, I'd rather get punched 
and then just take my L and then go home, then get punched and then punch back, get in a fight and then go back to Mexico. And that I'm and I'm afraid that one day that 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 feeling of morality inside of us that says that's wrong is gonna, gonna, be, gonna gone. be gone. Yeah. And it's gonna be free reign. Everyone do whatever the fuck you want. And nobody cares. But like when you see it now, like it's people glorify killing people. It's glorified, even in, in America, heavily, like in the culture, or whatever. Like, yeah, I caught a body, and and that's like tight now. Like, how is that tight? I don't, I don't. I understand it because, like, we come from a similar area, so it's almost like a, like a manly fucking a badge, like not a badge, but like a chest out, like yeah, I'm like you know, it's almost like a. Like you're trying to, like you have proved that you're willing to do something, but I don't know why that's, because it's not hard to pull the trigger. That's not hard. Anybody can, baby can pull it, you know? So it's not hard. Like I think um, there's a lot of hard shit. Like when it comes to like dismembering and shit, that shit's like, but not to say that you should get more credit because this shit's all done. This shit's all devil shit. That's what I realized. Like, this shit's all devil shit. It doesn't make sense. And, like, how people said that if um, if it ain't of God, it's of the devil. And when I apply that thinking to everything, I'm like, hey, oh, if this doesn't, like, if I, if I see this is new and I analyze it and I'm like, well, it obviously it's not from God because it goes against what God says. So automatically it's the devil then. And if you link it like that, you realize like, oh shit, oh shit, there's a lot of evil here. And then you can see like the devil got a lot of power over here on earth. Motherfucker got a lot of power and he, like there's no loving no more to, to, to people. And it's all like, it seems like we should be able to, but even when you're super nice, people take advantage of your kindness. So even that's at risk. Even if you're like a nice person 24-7, people will take advantage of you. But I feel like you'd be able to catch it though. Not all the time. Like I feel like sometimes you should take risk, even if you know you're going to get burned, if you're willing and if you're capable. But you should always expect to get burned in return. And just say fuck it. Like don't don't do anything. Don't give out your last hundred knowing that be and then be hoping like the rent's due and I need that hundred. But you should have never gave it out to begin with. Like Kendrick said, um, uh, I still risk it all for a stranger. He said, um, that's gangster. Uh, um, I don't know like what he said before that. I don't remember but. The the world he said the world be reminding me this danger he said I still risk it all for a stranger that's hell against it right because I feel like I do that too and it just feels like you can be fucked right you can be you can see somebody walking in the rain and you're in your car and you're like ah oh, man should I give him a ride and then you go and you give him a ride like the likelihood of something bad happening I'm pretty sure is low. Because I believe the majority of people are good. But there's, what if you pick up that crazy motherfucker? And then he gets in the car and he's strapped. And that's why I'm always thinking like, man, it's become, it like the, as as the time goes on, I'm like, it, it almost, in my, in my brain, it makes me be like, man, we got to be strapped 24-7. Even if we don't got drama. We got to be strapped 24-7 because it's like, if, if if like if somebody pulls out a gun, you're defenseless. You can't do anything. You're at his mercy. It's um, it's that and fight. But if you got a hammer too, then it's like it, it's it's on some fucking what do they call it? That cowboy shit where you turn your back and my back and like a duel. Yeah, some duel shit. Whoever gets the better shit, right? It's just playing chess, knowing when to pull the hammer out and. Yeah, because who, I mean, 
Yeah, you don't know nowadays, but I, I they, I seen a video. I seen a dude talking. He's making a video like it's the same person just playing as an actor or whatever. And he he pulls over and picks somebody up, and then the guy's like, uh, "Oh, you're really nice." He's like, uh, "But you're, um, you're not worried that I'm like a serial killer?" And he's like, "Nah." He's like, "The odds of two serial killers in the same car." Have you <laughs> seen that? Yeah, I seen that. And I'm like, "That's funny," but yeah, like I, I when I see people, I do get the urge of like. Should I offer them a ride? But I'm like, it just seems like they can get like. I think I'd be. It's weird. I think I'd be more willing if I was strapped twenty four seven. To just stop for people and help them out and stuff. Yeah, because you got the hammer on you. But the the only reason why I've always like hesitated about guns and like carrying them twenty four seven holstered like visible. Is because I always, I don't know why, maybe this is a flawed way of thinking, but I just felt like I, I'm more likely to die by a, by a cop. I just always felt that, regardless if it was real or not, just because I'm Mexican. And I feel like if you're colored, if you're black, then it's like, it's super bad for you. But like, even for Mexican, because I'm like, it's, it's like Mexicans and blacks, we got a lot in common. You know, the white man both hates us. So I always felt like that, regardless if it's true or not. I just always felt like if I have a gun, I'm more likely to die by the hands of a cop. If 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 I'm in a situation where they pull me over and I got a gun or whatever. So I've always just never, even though that might not be true, um, but I feel like it is. So because of that, I've always hesitated. I don't know why. It's always been a thought in the back of my mind. We probably should. We probably should though look into that, and get and get the your permit, your your uh, your carry permit or whatever to carry him. Uh, like I want the concealed though. Yeah, the concealed carry is the way that you would do it. <coughs> we can open carry in Michigan, but yeah, you can open carry. But conceal carry, and then because it's the, but the, like, do you see people open carry? No, huh? no, it's rare. You do see. I, I do see. I see every one, yeah, but, but not. It's very rare, but. Um, but I feel like that's gonna cause some shit. You don't think so? As a, as a me as a Mexican walking around like, cause I feel like people give me looks all the time. Yeah. So but now that, if I got a hammer on me, 20, nobody would ever twenty four seven. No, like I'm saying like n- n- open carry. Oh no, that's you can't the, conceal it. Yeah. Uh, if no, you don't have your license, yeah, you can't I know. But I, there's no reason to open carry. I don't believe in open carry. I think if you carry a gun, it should be concealed. Period. There's no need. I, this isn't wild wild west shit. <laughs> well, like yeah, I, well, well, right, well, so I take that back. Okay, I take that what back. do you mean? If some people doesn't have, like, if somebody has issues, right? And you're gonna open carry? No, don't open carry. There's no reason why. What do you mean? They, it's the legal way. No, yeah, it's um, but there's it's a legal way. But I'm saying it's not the smart move. It's not the smart move for anyone because look, if you have a gun and I have beef with you, I see it already. I already know you're well, I say, well, that's different, though. I'm just saying for this law-abiding citizens. If, if, Even for the law-abiding no, citizens. No, but if I'm, on, if I'm on some, like, drama shit, I don't give a fuck about the law. I'm putting hammers in fucking back here, right here. I don't give a fuck about permits, nothing. That shit in the car. Okay, but let's everything. say you're the... But you're, I'm saying you're the nicest... If I'm talking about these law-abiding yeah, citizens you're the, you're, who have problem with the neighbor... No, you whoever. have zero problems. You're a regular U.S. citizen. You're it doesn't clean matter. as a whistle. You so, but listen. Yeah, but you're, it's better to open carry than to not have it. But that's not what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying that if you're <laughs> going to carry, you should be concealed, period. But that's why. You're, you're kind of like going against open carry. I'm going because if you're going to carry, if you have a gun, that means you're not a felon. Right? Illegally. Yeah. Right? If you're going to open carry, that means you're not a felon. Okay, so if you're not a felon and you want to carry a gun, it should be concealed carry. So you should go and take your course, get your license, and ca- and then carry it on you. Concealed. That can be the goal, but for the meanwhile... No, you- no meanwhile. Immediate. What do you mean? Because if you're going to be carrying around a gun, it should be concealed, period. Not only for your safety... But for it's it's like you're 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 basically showing your cards before you. If you're ever in a situation where someone has a gun and they see you first before they act, you're the first person they're gonna shoot. I don't know about that. 
Why wouldn't you? If I if I'm coming to rob somebody and I come into a store and I see you have a gun, I'm not gonna put my gun out right in front of you because you have a gun too. Or probably, or you'll be the main source of it. So he's like, okay, if I if I'm gonna I'm gonna rob this motherfucker regardless. I don't care. And he's like, I don't give a fuck who I kill. And he he sees you have a if you're open carrying a gun. He's like, I'm gonna pop this dude first. Yeah, but there's been a lot of cases where there's been even security guards. In places with guns and the homeboys come up and the security guard pulls out his shit and kills him first. Yeah. So it can be like, or where homeboy shoots and misses because homeboys don't got training. People who are out here stealing don't take, don't have fucking training and shit with guns. Yeah. They'd be missing and shit. And homeboy does, who is security, who his security got his shit holstered, open carry. So even, I don't think it's pointless to open carry. I think there's some definitely cons to it, but I don't think it's pointless. I think, I, I, well, it's different when you're in a security guard or a cop or whatever. They're not obviously going to be, they actually have it out and about. But and cops, everybody has it open. Yeah. And they it, still get this shit together. Yeah, but they're, those are trained. Those are, those are, that's a different thing. I think that's, that's a, they can't, they for like, um, they're, they're meant to have it open carried. Like in the whole system and training and stuff, they have it so it's like easy access or whatever they have. But it could be the same thing for a citizen. I I think if you're I think if you're if, you there's know, just benefits of concealed. Uh, I think it though because nobody knows you have it. But that's what I'm saying. But it it's just as fast. I don't see what the perk is. What how open carry uh, supersedes concealed. I don't see in any which scenario it would. Maybe because if like you come into a situation and somebody sees you got a gun, they might not fuck with you. They might. Yeah, might not. But if they if they say who cares, you're the first one they're gonna shoot. And I'd rather somebody think I don't have shit on me, right? I, mean, I don't have shit. You take whatever you want, and then boom, they're dead. Then, then. Well, I know I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm not making the argument of I prefer open. For sure, concealed. And if you with the shits, and if you in some drama, fuck the law. Pack your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> don't take, don't take that from me. Ah, uh, like, don't take any, any, any advice from me. Like, do this shit the right way. Get your papers. Do what you got to do. But if I'm on some shit, I'm not doing no fucking... I don't give two fucks about the law. If I die, I can't come back. If I go to jail, I'll come back. So I I have that hammer on me 24-7. But there's people who, who are, are in some wild shit and don't even carry a gun. But that's some other shit to them. But I remember that there's one situation. I remember I told you about it, um, about this girl who had problems with this other girl or something like that. And then she pulled up to her mom's house and she like banged on the door. The mom opened and she, she like pulled out her camera phone. She like, this is your mom, right? She like, this is your mom. And she slapped her in the face hard, like, bam. And then she slapped so her. Well, she was recording or she was like she was on recording. live or something? I think she was on like Facebook live or something. She smacked her in the face hella hard twice. And I think like a week later. What that what ethnic, what ethnicity? The mom was? Yeah. I don't even know. It looked like something. Something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she was, she light, was of color. She was, she was light white. skin. Light skin. She was she was of color, like oh, of okay. light skin. She wasn't black, you know, but I don't know what she was. But she didn't speak good English either. But she did speak English. But she smacked her like two times. And a week later, they say that girl died. From? The, of bullets. Oh. That they shot her up. And I'm like, you just can't do that. You can't do that unless you're really with the shits and you and you really with it. like, And you, wouldn't, you already expect it because you can't go to somebody's mom. That would anger anybody. Not even you can go up to her, not even a gangster. You can go to a law abiding citizen, smack his mom. That dude will probably kill you. So it's not even on some gang shit. Yeah, it's because you can't. Now, if you go to somebody who's with the shit and you smack his mom, you might as well kill her, like because you're done. People think that people think that for whatever reason they're a lot stronger than they are. Yeah. Like but they're even, really egotistical. Yeah, not, and ego gets you killed. It's not even Sometimes a you got to put your ego down. You got to swallow that motherfucker. Sometimes you got to. 
or put them down like swat, like put them down like with a gun like shoot because shoot if a homie head. if if three homies pull up with guns you got it right you got it <laughs> you can't do shit so it's like it, it's not it's not you're not less of a man because you're in a you realize you're in a fuck situation and you got to do what the fuck you got to do to get out but it doesn't end there it doesn't end there and that's why um well, there's a lot of shit that goes on with that shit, but it's just, I don't know. It's just crazy because I'm like, you can't, you can't smack somebody's mom. Like, what were you thinking? <clears throat> and expect what? Nothing to happen? She thought she was the one. She thought she was like Neo. Neo? Like the Matrix? Oh. Where he got, he got, he got shot in the chest. Boom, 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 boom. And then he came back because he's the one. She wasn't the one. Thank you for listening to the AB podcast. You can follow us in the links below. All our social medias are linked there. If you want to buy some merch, the merch that we're usually wearing in the podcast, you can buy it as well. The link will be below.